welcome back. We are beginning the week with a Stitch Fix unboxing. I don't know, this one feels a little bit lighter than past ones. I'm also going to be including a dress that I bought for New Year's Eve. I'm trying out dresses and this might be the one I wear. We'll see. I'm going to try it on at the end of this video along with everything else in this box. If you clicked on this video and you aren't familiar with Stitch Fix, I'll have all the information down below for you um, in case you have any questions. And also feel free to comment if you do have questions. I always answer any comments on my videos. So to sum up Stitch Fix, it's basically a styling subscription service where you get your own personal stylist who picks out clothing for you after you fill out your own profile on their website. What I really, really like about this is that you can choose when you get a box. You don't have to do a subscription. You don't have to do their month to month. You can choose to get it once a year, every other month, every month. It's really, really customizable as well. So I really love that about this service. You just have to pay that personal styling fee that's $20. And that $20 does go towards some in the box but I always say this in all my videos just remember that if you decide not to get anything in the box you still don't get that $20 back so just so you're aware I do have a $25 off referral code down below if you would like to try Stitch Fix out because I'm not gonna lie, this can get expensive really fast. I've noticed that with Stitch Fix so far, their pants are on point. They have amazing jeans and amazing pants. I have not been disappointed yet with their pants. So if you're looking for like staple items and stuff, I feel like Stitch Fix is a really great way to go. If you are new here and you love watching these Stitch Fix unboxings, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I upload Monday Mondays and Fridays and I will have future Stitch Fix unboxings coming up. If you enjoy videos like this be sure to give me the thumbs up. Let me know what you think I should keep in this box but let's go ahead and get started with this unboxing. I have my scissors again. Hopefully I'm not going to poke my eye out like I almost did in my last video. That would have been much easier this time. As always, they send you a little return label for anything that you decide not to keep and send back. And then this is the envelope that contains all the scary information with prices and yeah, we'll look at that later. So this is what we have. This is a lot smaller. Ooh, I'll keep that in there for later. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move this box and we'll do these first. Here are the clothing items that we have. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Ooh, this feels really soft. And I am such a sucker for this color. Okay, so, wow, this is really, really soft. This looks like a turtleneck, almost like a cropped turtleneck. And it almost has like the threading in there that's mixed in with like a darker color. It's really pretty and I can't, wow, this is really soft. It almost reminds me of like Barefoot Dreams. This is from RD Style. Okay, so this is a Ursula spongy turtleneck pullover in light gray, and this is a medium. So this actually looks really nice. I feel like it's more of like an oversized turtleneck. I really like the color. This is a color that I wear all the time, light gray and white. I mean, yeah, you can tell. I love white. Yeah, I really like turtlenecks and I'm very much lacking them in my wardrobe. I have one turtleneck that I wear nonstop and I'm glad I have a replacement. Ooh, no. This looks really cute. Oh no. So it's see-through polka dot sleeves, the elastic material so that it'll gather around your wrist and make it like almost that balloon sleeve that I am obsessed with. And then it's like a loose black top that you can wear with anything. I mean, you can tell already I'm obsessed with polka dots. This is going to be really hard to say no to. This is a medium and it's from the brand CC. Please do not be expensive. Oh, a leopard print mini skirt. This is so bad. This is from Sadie and Sage. This is a Tina Faux suede mini skirt in the shade brown. How cute is that? I cannot wait to put this on. The material feels really good too. It has like a brown lining underneath it. Oh man, everything I'm really, really liking so far, this is really bad. 
I know, I am polka dot obsessed. This next thing, balloon sleeves and a ruffled collar, a little bit of a keyhole right here. And it's a nice loose fit and it's got the velvet black polka dots on it. I did not know that they were giving me a bunch of polka dot stuff. I'm even wearing polka dots today. So I know I have a thing for polka dots, but this is so cute. This is from the brand 41 Hawthorne and it is their Prince Loose Smocked Cuff Blouse. This would go perfect with my leather leggings. Man, this is really bad. I really like everything. You know what? This might be one of those orders that I get everything. We still have more. The next item is a little purse, like a little accessory, and that is so cute. So it has the gold chain and everything. It's from Moda Lux. I know these purses are so in style right now, but I don't really need a black purse. Um, I like the gold though. I love gold. We'll see about this one. Um, I'm not like completely thrilled with it because I do have a black purse just like this. This probably will be a pass for me, but we'll see. We'll see. Last item in this box is this little tissue paper. I don't know what's in here. Okay, let's see what this is. Really curious. Oh, I forgot that I ordered this. Okay, so you can put extras into your cart and I tried that this round and I got the, um, I think this is Anthropology. No, this is Free People. This is a um, Free People bralette and I have my eye on this the last Stitch Fix box, but I decided to include it in this box. So I'm gonna wear this with like off the shoulder sweaters and stuff because I love bralettes like this and I love white. I can always use another bralette, so yeah. Yeah? Paul's here. Ooh, step over all this stuff. Paul just got me a peppermint mocha from Walmart. Walmart <laughs> from Wawa, way better than Starbucks. They're literally like half the price. I need to open this up because we're gonna be trying this on along with everything else that I got in my video. Um, this is a dress that I purchased from Morning Lavender. Um, it's an online boutique. I have purchased from them a couple times and I really love their quality. Something I love about this company is that they put little lavender seeds in their packaging when you open the package it smells like lavender it's so cute i love that but oh my goodness it feels like really good quality it's like an off the shoulder type of dress and it's got like a tie waist right here and i got the size medium it is supposed to be like a very form-fitting dress but then loose on the top um it does have like those balloon sleeves that i love I'm gonna go ahead and try this on along with everything else in my Stitch Fix and I will be right back. Okay, so here's the skirt. I kind of pulled it up a little bit higher. I definitely have the hips, so sometimes it's hard to get away with like little mini skirts, but this one, I really like it. This material is so pretty. It's super comfortable. And I love it with these heels. So this is like Christmas Eve. And I'm always scared of mini skirts because a lot of times they will like ride up on you. But this one is like made to be high waisted. And it falls on a nice length because I am very tall. So it is really hard for me to get away with mini skirts and heels. And I feel like I'm able to pull this off. What do you guys think? I know it wrinkles up just a little bit right here, but that doesn't worry me too much. I feel like when I walk, it's not gonna ride up on me. First one, and I love it. Give you guys a nice close up. Really, really like that. I really, really hope that this is not super expensive because this feels very luxurious and very, very pricey. So we will see. So I have had this Lauren Conrad skirt for a very long time 
and I had never been able to find something to wear it with. But with this sheer black sleeve, I am obsessed with this, with like black heels. I love it. Get a cute little pose here. Do you like it? Should I keep the shirt? It can't be that bad. I'm thinking, yeah, I really want to keep the shirt. It's a nice loose fit, so you can wear it with like a high-waisted skirt like this. Let me get you a view of the back. I haven't buttoned it up, so it's a little bit open in the back, but this shirt is made for this outfit with black heels. I love the sheer black sleeves with the puff at the end. Yeah. So right now I'm actually thinking that this is my favorite outfit. Hopefully this isn't too expensive because I'm a little bit worried because this does feel luxurious. So we will see. Okay guys, so we are sticking with the dress, or I mean with this skirt because this is another shirt that will go perfectly with this skirt. And I'm like, I'm so happy because I have had this skirt for the longest time and I have never been able to find something that works right with it. And I just have two shirts that work perfectly with this skirt. Stitch Fix makes it happen. Um, so this does have, let me turn you around so you can see. This does have like a little bit of a ruffle collar and then like a little bit of a keyhole right here. If you were to choose, do you like the black shirt with this better or the red? I feel like the red is a little bit more Christmassy but I like them both. But the sleeves fall at a nice length and I've got that room to breathe. I love that balloon sleeve. And even just standing here next to my Christmas tree, I feel so ready for the holidays. Like I feel like this is another really great Christmassy outfit. The um, polka dots on this are velvet, which I love. I love ruffle necks, especially with like my shorter hair. I feel like it really does go. I'm having a hard time deciding. I don't know, I kind of want to get everything because it is Christmas and it is the time where I pull out my very, very Christmassy outfits. And the fact that I've never been able to wear this skirt because I haven't been able to find something to wear it with. And now I have two shirts that I can wear this skirt with. I'm, I'm literally so excited. Okay, here's the sweater. Um, I really, really like this, you guys. Um, it's really, really soft, and I feel like it follows my figure really nicely. I love where it falls on the turtleneck. It's not too high, and I like it with these pants. These are actually a pair of pants that I purchased in my last Stitch Fix, and it literally goes perfect with them, and I really, really like how this looks. It's so soft and so comfy. It's really soft, you guys. I wish you could feel it. It really does remind me of that brand, Barefoot Dreams. Um, I don't actually own anything from them, but every time I go into Nordstrom, I just touch their stuff <laughs> because it's so soft. RD style. Yeah, and the fact that I can wear them with these corduroy pants, I don't know. I'm really leaning towards, yes. Yeah. This is the dress that I got from Morning Lavender, and I will be sure to link it down below. Um, it wasn't too expensive, it really wasn't that bad, so I really like it, and I feel like some of you would be interested in this. It is a figure-hugging dress, so I think it's so cute. It's very, very comfortable, and I really, really like, like where it hits on my v-neck, and that has a v-neck in the back. I feel like stuff like that is so holiday and very festive. So yeah, it is so hard for me to find like shapey dresses that hit me in the right spot. You definitely want to wear spandex with it. That's all I'm gonna say. I really, really like how this lays on me. I feel like it lays in the right spots and it's not too low. I love those necklines for the holidays. I like that it has like the bow so it doesn't bring too much attention to this area. Should I wear this for New Year's Eve? I think I am going to go ahead and keep this. It is so hard to find shapey dresses that aren't too much. And I feel like this one hit it right on. I like it with these heels. These are Lauren Conrad heels. Um, apparently I have a theme for that brand. And that about sums up everything that I got in this little haul Stitch Fix unboxing. I also really, really like this eye look with this dress. 
I used one of my hourglass eyeshadows again. Let's go look at the prices of all these items now. Now that we've tried on all of these clothing items, it's time to look at the price. So I've got my envelope here. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, this must be for Christmas. It's a gift. Oh, so you can like send gifts to people through Stitch Fix. Here is our styling card. So we have all of our outfit suggestions right here on this card. And I still have Rachel. So thank you, Rachel, if you're watching this. I really like everything that you chose. Hello, Sarah, and happy fix day. I hope this fix finds you well. I'm excited to hear that your subscribers are loving Stitch Fix videos. And I can't wait for you to see the holiday pieces inside today. I was unable to find the right sparkle this time, but I've got my eye out for your next fix. I told my stylist that I wanted something sparkly for the holidays, and I'm actually really happy with everything that I got. I know I didn't get anything sparkly, but I like everything. I hope you enjoy these pieces, and I look forward to seeing what you love. Happy styling. Cheers, Rachel. So thank you, Rachel. I really enjoyed everything that you gave me. I need to look at the prices now. My heart just starts beating really fast every time I have to look at the prices. The RD Style Turtleneck is $68, which I'm not surprised because it does feel very luxurious. This is very good quality. I honestly thought it was going to be like a $98 sweater. All right, next we have the Hadel Sheer Sleeve. Oh, okay. The Black Sheer Sleeve shirt. This $84? Are you kidding me? No way. Man, I don't know about that. I do love that though. Like, that's like, this is holiday. Maybe I'll use credit towards that. Okay, so next we have the Smocked Cuff Blouse from Hawthorne. This is $68. I'm a little bit surprised with that. I thought this was gonna be around like 40 or 50, but it is good quality and I'm, I don't know, that's kind of expensive though. That is expensive. I do see myself wearing this and all these. I see myself wearing these all the time. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to keep. This is perfect for Christmas. And the fact that I love polka dots, I mean, obviously. <laughs> all right. So next we have the Palermo, Palermo Stitch Detail Clutch. I can tell you right now, I'm not planning on getting this. It is really cute. And the price is very reasonable, actually. It's only $38. So that is very reasonable for a purse, but this round, I don't know. The next item, the Sadie and Sage Faux Suede Mini Skirt, which this one is priced very reasonable. And I thought this was gonna be the most expensive one. This is $48. I am so happy about that. I know for sure I'm getting this because that is cute and I know I'll wear it. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. I know I want to get this one at least. Um, and then with my extra, I did include the um, Free People Bralette. And this was actually $38. And that is something that I added into my box. So that does make it a little bit more expensive this round. But I have been needing a bralette like this. And I wear a lot of like off the shoulder sweaters. And these bralettes go perfectly with them. So... I knew it was going to be a little bit more expensive this round. So with the stylist picks, it would have been $306. With the discount, it would be subtract $76.50. So that's a little bit more reasonable. Thank goodness. But then I added the Free People Bralette into this round, and that is $38. So the order subtotal would be $267. Subtract the $20 that go towards everything, and that would be $247.50. And that's not including all the credit that I'm going to put towards this order. So I'm actually very much considering purchasing everything in this box. I'm not going to lie. I just see myself using it all the time. We need to go ahead and wrap up this video. This has been a very long unboxing video. So thank you so much for sticking around to the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are on the items that I got in my box. What do you think I should keep? Should I keep everything in this box? We'll see. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I will be back soon with another Stitch Fix video and I will see you very soon. Bye. I think I was the most shocked with the black shirt. Obviously, I mean, my reaction was caught on camera.